Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty Explicit. Today I'm going to be doing a little how-to on how to get your fingernail polish to last. I know there's a lot of different techniques and stuff out there. I'm honestly just going to be telling you the one that works for me. So what I do is I want I always start with a manicured nails. Um, always want to trim them, then get your cuticle done, make sure it's nice and clean, and then moisturize because if you don't you can cause issues with your hands and you don't want that. Um, and then I also make sure that the nail is clean before I even start because if you have stuff on the bases of your nails like oils you can potentially ruin your fingernail polish before you even get started. So what I do after I've done all those steps is I use and I, I call this oh really I'm not really sure how it's said and it is a rubberized bonder for your nails and I use this as my base coat. Now I use this because it helps the main base polish get attached to it and it actually does help it stay on longer so and as you can see it's kind of a peachy color but I'll show you as I put it on my nails it does dry clear and it's very shiny so see very clear very shiny even when it dries it is also shiny so then after that I will go ahead and put on my base nail polish after they've all dried and so for this example, I'm just going to use my Essie. This color is Garden Variety, number 750. It's a very deep blue color. I love this color. And I'll put this on next. And I'll usually do about two coats of this, sometimes three if, if I do one too light. Um, to help this dry faster, because I know it's a big issue with most people, is that they get impatient. They want their nail polish to dry faster. They just go and do stuff and then they ruin their nail polish that they've just spent 20 minutes, 30 minutes applying. So what I do is I'll get a bowl, put ice cubes in it, and fill it with water. Now I know you've probably seen this on places, but I believe it actually works help to get the nail polish to dry faster. So you put your fingers like this into the water. And then you're going to want to let that sit for about a minute or two. Take your hand out, let it dry, and your fingernail polish should be dry as well. And then after you've done that on all your hands and your fingers, and you can do it on your toes too if you'd like, I always use a hardener for the top coat. And the one I really like right now, I have Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails Hardener. Now when I'm doing this, I don't just put it on my nail. I also, to help with the chipping at the very tip, I'll show you what I do. I'll do this, put it on like that, I'll do it a little messy, but that's okay. And then I will also take it and swipe it along the bottom. And that kind of helps prevent this bottom part from getting this top part to chip. Because we put a lot of stress on our nails right there and that can definitely cause chips on the very front. So that's what I do. And I can get a fingernail polish, just a regular one like this, to last two days without this and this. But with these, I can get it to last about a week. Now with a gel polish, like one of the ones I have right here from Sally Hansen, um, those by themselves last about a week and a half to two weeks, but with these I can make them last two to two and a half weeks, which is um, what they say they last two weeks, but they really don't, especially if you're really hard on your nails like I am. So um, let me know if you guys have tried any other kind of bonders or rubberizers. Let me know what you think about them. If you try this one or have tried it, let me know what you think about it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really uh, hope you guys like this and please like and subscribe. Also go to beautyexplicit.com, check out for our new content and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.